Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thanks to all of you that testified with, with this excellent uh, testimony. I, I'm from an industry that's benefited much from NASA and, and uh, the technologies and, and everything that they've spawned from their research uh, and the brilliance that come out of there. I come from the auto industry, and everything from metals to paint to, uh, to weight, uh, and I truly hope that NASA gets a long-term uh, presence uh, that they're looking for because it benefits this entire, this entire country. Uh, but also the stimulus that we've talked about that's been kicked around here a little bit, uh, save that same industry I came out of and had it not been for that stimulus, we might have been in a depression and not be able to talk about any funding. So with, with that out, I'd like to direct a question to uh, General Sega. Uh, you testified that NASA needs personal flexibility, including the ability to conduct uh, reductions in force and hire contractors rather, rather than civil servants in select instances. Uh, I'd like to know if this is because there isn't a long-term long commitment to the program uh, and you need to be flexible with bringing people in or out, or do you believe even if there is a long-term commitment, if that would be your strategy on personnel? Uh, and what provisions can NASA make for the retraining of those highly educated NASA scientists and technicians uh, if you end up with a glut? of those people, which there's going to be right now, from what I understand. Um, and is the commercial market large enough to absorb these scientists and these highly skilled people that was trained with tax dollars uh, uh, and they're going to carry knowledge that nobody else possesses that could be valuable to our country? Can the market absorb those? Uh, uh, Congressman, as we looked at um uh, one of our tasks was to examine NASA's organizational structure and identify changes that can improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the mission's, uh, mission activities. So that, that, that's uh, how we address that. Um, as you uh, arrive at new strategic objectives and, and, and goals, and then NASA creates a strategic plan to uh, accomplish those, um, we recommend the flexibility, not necessarily, you know, how it would it would turn out in terms of the the ability to look at personnel and infrastructure aligned with these strategic goals and objectives in in an implementation plan. So we we did note that um, the Jet Propulsion Lab is an FFRDC type structure, and and it is uh, uh, contract folks there that that are engaged in in uh, many aspects of uh, research development and and operations for their. Uh, their, their satellites. Uh, different centers had a different mix in terms of contractors and, and civil servants. Um, uh, there were about four of them that were about 50 50. There is a, uh, a, about three of them that were quite high in terms of contractors to, uh, to uh, um, NASA civil servants, um, um, uh, one that was higher in terms of civil servants than, um, than contractors. But it was more of that, uh, that, that, that flexibility. Uh, of, of doing what that center um, would be expected to accomplish in a more integrated way. And so it was the flexibility rather than a specific solution that we were recommending. American energy companies. Uh, how do we ensure that NASA's research talent pool and facilities are not acquired by foreign interests that may be harmful uh, to our national interest. I, I guess the general would I, I direct that towards you again. Uh, that, was, that was not addressed in our study in terms of um, um, the uh, uh, U.S. versus um, uh, foreign ownership of companies. Well, I, and I believe uh, you testified in your written, written statement that NASA's uh, infrastructure flexibility, the ability to dispose of property uh, it no longer needs, uh, would, would, this, would this be included in what could be purchased by uh, foreign countries? Uh, I, I, I don't re recall that, uh, that we specified uh, or even considered in our deliberations the uh, um, 
the nature of, of the um, uh, entity that would that would be uh, um, a potential uh, buyer of the facility. I, I do want to um, give you an example of a visit that I made to uh, Plumbrook. It's in, in 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 Ohio, where they have a large chamber and they test fairings separations. And uh, they a uh, great facility. Uh, some of NASA's missions need that, but it it is a facility that also has the capacity for other work. And so uh, it was uh, um, uh, ESA that had uh, looked at, at doing some of the work in, in that facility. Um, they were also um, uh, discussing with uh, JAXA and SpaceX to, to do work in that facility. And, and so it would be a, a, uh, some aspects may, may be appropriate for a, a, um, a, a sale, but others may be just greater utilization of the facility in more creative ways. Thank you. Uh, if I may, one question to Congressman Walker. You talked about uh, the, the possibility of, of for-profit companies joining in with NASA on particular research. We all know there's great minds out there right now thinking about farming in space and mining in space, which would be great projects to work together. Are there really companies out there that could afford the funding to do that research to join in with NASA to help NASA become a viable program for the long term? Absolutely. I mean, you have uh, companies right now that are creating spacecraft that uh, you do have working relationships with NASA, but would love to have closer relationships and uh, look toward the future. Uh, we announced a company uh, just last week uh, that is uh, looking to go to the moon. Uh, certainly NASA's expertise in uh, that area uh, would be invaluable. And uh, these are companies who are perfectly prepared uh, to, to pay NASA for uh, the utilization of their facilities and utilization of their talent. And so uh, there are lots of opportunities out there that could be expanded even more uh, in, <coughs> into, the, into the future. Uh, you mentioned the automobile industry. The automobile industry is in the process of developing autonomous vehicles. Nobody has done more uh, elaborate work on autonomous vehicles than NASA has done. Uh, my guess is that uh, uh, there are, have been some partnerships in that, but those are partnerships that could be expanded. Yep. Thank you, Congressman. I yield any time I might have left.